Hey guys, welcome to another weekly makeup basket. Um, I'm kind of excited about this week's products. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a lot of fun, fun, fun. So, let's get started. For primer, I'm gonna be using the Face Finity um, primer from Max Factor. I'm really, really, really enjoying this. It's just a really nice all round prep for the skin. It's not too mattifying, it's not too luminous, it's just it hits the nail on the head. Um, for foundation, I will be mixing the Estee Lauder Double Wear with the Photo Ready in Shell and adding a spot of the Lumi Magic base from L'Oreal. Um, it's what I have on today and I really like it. It gives nice, it gives glow in all the right places and, and it lasts all day, so. I'm going to work with those. For concealer, I'm going to work on the Revolution Liquid Concealer. There is still quite a bit in here. I think it's about half full. So, see what I can do with that. And then we have the L'Oreal um, Touche Magique. I figured out where it is roughly. These clicky pens are hard to monitor. So we have that. On to... Oh no, powder. Powder first. There he is. Um, of course I have the Facefinity Press Powder. I will be carrying this around with me. That's what it looks like. Now we have the e.l.f. High Definition Loose Powder. Um, it's been a while since I've used this and I think I really need to focus on using this up because it's starting to like ball up on my face when I use it. So I don't know if maybe moisture has gotten into it or what's happening but I'm going to try and use it up as soon as possible. Um, on to face products. Um, for cream blush. I'm going to continue using the NYX Natural Cream Blush. Um, I'm, I'm hitting major panage on here, baby. Um, I will never say baby again, I promise you. <laughs> um, but I really enjoy this blush. Even if I don't use a powder blush on top of it, it's, it's still pigmented enough once I put my powder on to show through. But for a powder blush, I'm going to work on the Candid Coral. This is how much I have left of it. I did repress it. I've been on a bit of repressing spree. Um, but I think if I focus on this, this will probably be finished by the end of the week. We'll see. For bronzer, still using the Body Shop Honey Bronze. Absolutely enjoying this still. It's just the perfect colour for pale skin. Um, we have the MAC MSF in By Candlelight. I'm working on flattening out that peak. Can you see it? Can you see it? I think you can. It's getting there. Um, this is basically a pinker version of Soft and Gentle. I like it though. Um, for eyes, I decided to throw both the bases from my project pan in here. The number 7 Stay Perfect Eye Mousse in Vanilla and the Colour Tattoo in On and On Bronze. I did it today, I have the On and On Bronze on the outside and the Vanilla on the inside and it just kind of, you know, I'm using both at the same time and it's making my eyeshadow pop majorly so I figure why not use both. For eyeshadow, a shadow, what are you, a shadow? Um, I've got my Project Pan shadows, the 17 Ivory Coast, um, NYX Silk, um, brown, and dark brown, and taupe. These will probably be in every 
make a basket for this foreseeable future. So you best get used to seeing those. Um, on top of that, I think I'm going to include this eyeshadow from e.l.f. I think this is called Baked Plum um, or Burnt Plum. I will annotate the correct name here. Um, but I just really want to use it, so I'm going to put it in there somewhere. For eyeliner, um, we have the little Diddy Max Factor in black. Hopefully I can get this finished up this week, um, if I can use it daily. And then we have the Ico Skinny Liner in Neve, because Neve is like so all right now. For lips, um, I'm kind of going more purple with my lips at the moment, I, you can't tell. What I have on just now is a mixture of um, Keep Lying For You by Revolution with Lilac Pastel over the top. And I love it, but this is not in my makeup bag this week unfortunately. Um, for liner, I'm using the T-Rose by e.l.f. It's kind of a purpley mauve shade. Um, I'm including a lip lacquer in the shade 100 from Max Factor. Um, for lipstick, I'm going to try and finish up the Dune Rose by Estee Lauder. And I'm also going to phase in pink blush from Rimmel. And for gloss, I have these two, the Lilac Pastel and the um, Petit Peche by um, Chanel. And what I tend to do is like store them upside down so I can mark them that way. And basically because it brings all the product down to the, the top round the opening so I can get mostly all the product out. So yeah, I'm gonna finally, finally start making some progress on Lilac Pastel, hopefully finish it up. I feel like I spoke really, really, really fast. Um, I feel kind of out of breath. <sighs> but that is my makeup bag for the week. Um, I'm just kind of going with mostly my project pan items until I find sort of a vibe that I want to ride into the sunset on a unicorn. Um, sorry, tangent. <laughs> but yeah, um, so that's what I'm gonna try and use most of this week. Um, for mascara, I'm, I'm gonna just dot between all of my project pan mascaras. I have four. I'm just going to try and layer them up. Um, we have the Clinique High Impact, Smashbox, Full Exposure, um, Elizabeth Arden Ceramide and the 2000 Calorie by Max Factor. And my eyebrows pretty much are still the same. I'm still using the Elizabeth Arden Brow Powder and I'm kind of favouring the brow that way over the Maybelline one. So yes. Um, remember to click the info box for links to all my social media outlets and I will probably, hopefully, by the time this video ha comes up, um, by the time I put this video up, my god I need to stop filming now, um, by the time this video is up I should hopefully have put up a blog post with the swatches of everything. I just now realised I should have been swatching throughout the whole video and I, I'm sorry. I will remember next week. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye bye!